Well, today is a day that I think a lot of us have been excited for for quite some time. Today is a day that I received something very special in the post. And frankly, I couldn't wait to make a video about it. This came in my post box five minutes ago tops. This is the Star 64 single board computer. Now there are many single board computers, so what exactly makes this one special? Well, it has a RISC-V CPU. That means that the CPU instruction set on this thing, completely open source. If you want the specifics about the hardware as well as the CPU, I'll have them all on screen now. But I thought today, why don't we go ahead and open this thing up? So as you can see around the box, there's not a huge amount. On the side here, you've got the RAM amount. Mine is the four gigabytes. Now, originally I was gonna get the eight gigabytes, but it was sold out. Thankfully though, Pine64 offered to send me a four gigabyte version. Thank you, Pine64. On the front here, you've got Open Sesame. On the side, nothing. And on the top, Star64 board. So let's open this up and see what we've got. And as you can see in this anti-static bag is the Star 64 single board computer. Now this thing really makes me realize how much I miss my Raspberry Pi. I mean, just look at how cool this thing is. Incidentally, it's quite a bit bigger than a Raspberry Pi, but to be honest with all the features that it packs in, you can't blame it. These single board computers really are getting to the point where you can use them as your main computer. So let's look at what you've got. You've got a PCIe port, GPIO pins, you've got the EMMC module here uh, where you can put in extra storage. On the back you've got a micro SD card slot which is again for more storage. I think most people are probably going to be booting off the micro SD card like a Raspberry Pi. And you also have the main event here, the RISC-V CPU. Along the sides you've got a headphone jack, power button, Always annoyed me that the Raspberry Pi didn't have that, so it's cool the Pine64 to include this. You also have four USB ports, one of them being USB 3.0. I wish there was a USB-C port on this, like some of other Pine64's devices, but you can't really complain too much. And certainly you could adapt that USB 3 port to have some of the functionality of USB-C. On the other side, you've got a HDMI port. Because yes, this does support full video output, and yes, it does have a GPU, unlike some other RISC-V single board computers. You've got not one, but two Ethernet ports, so you can use this thing for applications that would require that. And finally, you have a barrel jack. Now, as I say, I do wish that this would be powered by USB-C, like the recent Raspberry Pis are, but let's face it, this thing is a RISC-V single board computer that's affordable. You can't really complain no matter what. This thing is really cool. Now, unfortunately, our video has to come to an end here. Now you might ask why exactly? Well, I don't actually have the barrel jack required to power this thing. I did order it. It should get here by tomorrow, but I don't have it right now. So you might ask, why still make this video anyway if you don't have the necessary barrel jack? Well, unfortunately, because it wouldn't make any difference if I did have it, because at present, there are no operating systems that I'm aware of that will run on this device. That's going to come later on, and no doubt I'll make videos about them as they come. But for now, unfortunately, this thing is just a very fancy paperweight. But it's still probably worth getting to invest in the future of RISC-V, and certainly I imagine some pretty impressive operating systems are going to come out, since this thing sold very well. Hopefully it gets into the hands of the developers that can make that happen. But for now, I just have to say, thank you for sending me this Pine64. You guys are seriously just the coolest people on planet Earth. I'm so happy to have this. I've wanted a RISC-V computer for so long. I mean, heck, I might even daily drive this thing. That's how stoked I am. And I also thank you for watching, because without you viewers, things like this would not be possible.